Hi everyone, and welcome to SciWheel 101. In this video, I'll be showing you the very basics of the SciWheel site and tools to get you collecting, organizing, and citing references in no time. We'll be covering the basic website interface, how to use the browser extension to import and annotate articles from the web, and the essentials of our Word add-in for citing. The first thing I'd like to highlight about SciWheel is that it's a cloud-based platform, which means if you have an internet connection, you'll always have access to your references no matter where you are, even from phones and tablets. When you first sign up for an account, you'll be taken through some onboarding steps, but we'll be skipping over these for this video. The part we're really interested in here is the references section, which you can see on my screen now, and is where the bulk of the work in SciWheel will get done. To start seeing the benefits of SciWheel straight away, the first thing we're going to do is import some references. This is an important first step as all other functionality is dependent on having references in your library. Taking a brief look at the Import References menu now, you can see that, among other things, it's possible to easily import PDFs from various sources, or to bring your existing reference libraries in from other reference managers. I cover this in more detail in a dedicated Importing References video, so for now I'm going to show you how easy it is to import from the web using our most widely used tool, the browser extension. I've already installed this from the Tools menu here. This is also where you can install our citation tools for Word and Google Docs. We can see that it's saying Chrome extension, as Chrome is my detected browser, but the extension is available for all other major browsers too, and will work with most journals and research websites. Once installed, you can see that it displays as a little icon to the right of the address bar here. This is for all browsers except for Safari. On Safari, it will appear on the left-hand side. Now I'm going to go to the PubMed site and perform a search. We can see immediately that the browser extension icon is showing the number of references in the search results page that we can import. Clicking on the extension icon, the window will display the titles of the references, and we can choose to import references individually or in bulk. We can also choose to import to all references, to an existing project, or create a new project. I'm just going to import to all references for now. Simply select the references you want to import and click Add. In a matter of seconds, the references have been imported. Going back to the SciWheel site now, you can see the references I've just imported in the All References section. You can see that they've imported with full metadata automatically, and you'll also notice that if any references have open access PDFs available, we'll add those to the reference automatically too. Now that I have some references, let's organize them into a project. To create a new private or shared project, just click the plus button here. To copy references over in bulk, use the master checkbox here to select references, then just drag and drop them into the desired project. You'll also notice here that the Suggestions section has some activity. Our smart algorithm has immediately kicked in and started suggesting relevant references for this project. Another great way to help keep your references organized is by using tags, which you can create by clicking the tag icon here. Once your tag has been created, it will appear under your project list here, and you can drag and drop it onto other references to tag them. You can filter references by clicking on the desired tag here. Next, we're going to use the browser extension to make some highlights and notes, which can be really useful for drawing attention to particular passages in an article for your own purposes, and also a great way to get a discussion started if you're working in a shared project. If I open this reference in the journal page, I just need to drag my cursor over the portion of text I want to highlight and click the icon that appears. I can choose a color for the highlight and add a note if desired. Once the highlight and note is made, you can easily access them by opening the extension window and selecting notes. Clicking on any highlight here will take you directly to the highlighted passage in the document. If the reference is in a shared project, all highlights and notes will be visible to everyone in the project. Highlights and notes are fully searchable too, so you can always find them quickly and easily. Taking a little bit more of an in-depth look at references. If I click on a reference card here, it will open the reference detail page. This will show a variety of information, including the abstract, the notes and highlights I've made, and suggest related articles to this one I might want to import. There's an options button here, which will let you perform various actions with the reference, including editing metadata if needed. 
The final thing I'd like to point out with the website is that if you need help at any time, you have the option to either search our FAQs and how-to videos here, or you can click the chat icon here and send us a message, and either myself or one of my colleagues will get back to you as soon as we can. So those are the very basics of collecting and organizing references. Now I want to cite these references and create a bibliography. This can be done using our tools for either Word or Google Docs, but for this video, I'll show you the basics of our Word add-in. I already have this installed, but it's available from the Tools menu I showed you earlier. Going to Word now, the add-in appears as a tab labeled SciWheel, and there are various options in the ribbon. For now, I'm just going to focus on inserting, editing, and formatting references. To insert a citation, click the Insert Citations button. A panel will open on the right-hand side of your document with options for searching and filtering references. Once I've found the reference I want to cite, simply click the Cite button to insert an unformatted citation. To create a citation group, leave your cursor inside the first citation and keep citing. You can see that my cited references appear as grey bars at the bottom of the panel. I can expand the editing option simply by clicking on the grey bars or by clicking the Edit Citations button in the plugin toolbar. To format references in a chosen style, click the Format Citations and Bibliography button. In the panel that opens, you can choose one of the default styles, or scroll to the bottom of the list and select More Styles to search for a style in our full library of over 7,000. Once your style is selected, simply click Update. Your citations will be formatted and a bibliography created in your chosen style. Please note that citations aren't formatted automatically, so if I insert a new citation, it won't be formatted or added to the bibliography until I use the Format Citations and Bibliography function again. So those are the absolute essentials of using SciWheel. There are many, many more things you can do with the site and tools, but these will be covered in other videos. I hope this has been helpful, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please get in touch with us via the support chat in the SciWheel site or by emailing feedback at SciWheel.com. Thanks for watching.